ตาน So today is um, part two of the comparison between the Timer C3 and the Easy Preso Q Air. Just started raining really hard, that's why I had to stop the video. But today we are brewing um, the results from the Timer C3 and the Easy Preso Q Air. I am still in the same um, setup. Right now, I'm gonna brew both of the coffees and then I'm gonna tell you the difference of the two. My water is ready. I just need to get another scale and another carafe. Okay, so I have my Hario scale here. And we're gonna need two more carafes. And then we're gonna put our coffee in. To try and minimize the variables in this um, experiment, I'm only gonna do two different pours. So one is um, the blooming phase, which is twice of the dose. So in this case, 15. We're gonna pour 30 ml. And then for the second pour, I'm gonna do all the way to 250 to complete the 1 is to 15 ratio. Okay, I'm gonna start on this side. This is the Q air. We are using 89 degree water. That is 30 ml. Okay, in the pouring technique department, I'm not gonna do any special pouring. So all I'm, all I'm gonna do is try and saturate all the coffee and then pour all the way to 250. Then all the way to 250. Then. All the way to 250. The coffee from the Q Air finished at 141. Okay, and the coffee from the Time War C3 finished at 150. So that is surprisingly close. It is um, raining really hard right now. Okay, let's try and finish this video as soon as we can. As fast as we can. Okay, then this is from the time more. Mm. Here's what I think. So the coffee from the Easy Presso Q Air is more balanced. Um, if you think about it, we have equal parts of boulders and mid-size. The Timer C3 has more um, has more brightness to it. They're both sweet. They both have um, good um, body. They both have nice um, bod body. But actually the Q Air has more clarity. Yeah. The Q Air has more clarity than the Time More, but the Time More has a really nice brightness to it. But for now, thank you so much for watching. In the next videos, I'm gonna show you more about coffee. Bye!